上集中，我们一同领略了美国德克萨斯州的玩车文化。这集我们的焦点将集中在另一个更为神秘的领域——手枪高级定制。而我的同事光光呢，为此更是不惜一切代价，压上了自己的全部身家。那么，手枪的高级定制究竟能达到什么样的惊人程度呢？罗伯·北美大型纪录片《暴走达拉斯》持续为您播出。从达拉斯往西开一个多小时，在二十号高速公路边，我们来到了一家造枪工厂。在外面看上去呢，虽然不起眼，但是这个却是枪中法拉利 （Infinity Firearms） 的生产车间。全世界无数的手枪射击竞技爱好者最想要朝圣的地方之一，而迎接我们的正是品牌的第二代主理人 Brandon。Gentlemen, okay, here we go. Thank you. Okay.、Um, my father. My father is、uh, Sandy Strayer.、Um, he started started with the 2011 design in 1989. 25五年来 ，Infinity Firearms 一直是手枪竞技射击领域的头牌。他们率先发明和使用了无数的顶尖造枪工艺，而旗下的 Infinity Open Division 更是世界众多顶级手枪竞技射击运动员的心头好，帮他们无数次的斩获了骄人的战绩。这也就是为什么圈内都称他为。枪中法拉利的原因。同时呢 ，Infinity Firearms 坚持手工打造每支定制手枪，这不仅要求了精度和准确度，还要应对高难度的产量挑战。枪上的大部分零件、手柄、弹簧，甚至是一个小螺丝，都可以根据客户的特定需求来打造。这与法拉利店提供的 Taylor Made 如出一辙。Everyone being custom and every design being unique is what keeps me at the bench 80 hours a week. So Um, if I can continue to create and,、uh, and, and make what we want, I think the customers love the end product. So、um, the, I have brilliant, brilliant people around me, of course,、um, and artists that, that assist in the design process. But at the end of the day, we all want to see it created into a pistol. Getting it cut from, from a piece of paper into metal. Into a pistol is something、um, that that we all, we do completely in house. So, so that's、uh, unique for any manufacturer to be able to do is to to make what you can dream. 作为这家传奇造枪公司的第二代掌门人，我们年龄相仿。我特别好奇，他这一辈子一共做过多少把手枪？最贵的一把手枪又是多少钱呢 ？Especially today,、um, I did it for for a gentleman. Um, it was his 50th birthday present to himself, but it was a fully hand engraved titanium pistol. I way undersold it right at the $20,000 price point because it took so long. It was 24 karat gold inlay,、um, had his name down the other one side, and then、um, I'd, <laughs> I'd say it's over six thousand. Six thousand? Six thousand. So I do about、um, right now. We've I mean we've doubled, tripled production over the years.、Um, this year is our 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 record right now is 600. Um, and uh, that's 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 really a nice balance. It's getting easier to produce that volume,、uh, but that's a seven day a week for me.、Uh, most of the guys work five to six,、uh, but we're all working、um, 60 hours a week. So very very skilled labor. I think you you pay the overtime、um, to keep keep them、uh, keep them moving forward. So as well as they're getting better in their job when they're that dedicated to the craft. 接下来，我们将有幸欣赏一些 Infinity Firearms 公司的杰出定制案例，并深入了解手枪的定制细节。To allow me to afford to do that, but yeah, a unique piece like the Cos pistol.、Um, so again,、uh, artist involved, obviously. Cos didn't do this, unfortunately.、Uh, but I have a good friend in Vegas.、Um, he uh, um, came over, for, was uh, um, recruited by Blizzard. Um, and came over to make games, and、uh, now he、uh, has his own gaming culture. And、uh, he, he had a release game on PS5 here recently.、Uh, but beautiful artist, I kind of give him an idea where I want to go with it, and he and he takes it away. It's actually a mountain. If、oh. if you see the the peak of the mountain here、oh. in the artwork, and then it cur- curls down,、um, and then with the gold and black splatter. So this is a hand engraved pistol.、Yeah. This one's my personal one, so you feel that one. <laughs>、uh, it's Harley Quinn,、um, so I kept that one for my son.、Uh, but that was the first one we did in 2016、uh, with the current hand engraver and then color inlaid. But yeah,、um, I would sit down at the laptop and we can start to design and、uh, get an idea of where you want to go.、Uh, I want to make a tattoo on the car. Okay. Yeah. 
to my dog. Yeah? Yeah. I'll okay. Well, probably, uh, again, the hand, the hand engraving is for the fine lines. So that's where you have to go when you get that fine detail. Um, so I'm doing a samurai right now on one, um, but the, the detail level even of the samurai, once you shrink it down to quarter sized, is so fine. So I, th I think given the, the, the size of that, you, you'll get the feel of it. Um, that's possible. Um, Going, what colors are we? We're sticking oh, bronze? Yeah, yes. yes okay, okay, so I'm gonna stick with the aluminum mount. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so thumb rest and this will match. So that's the, yeah. f this is actually 45. a 45 degree concave feel. Okay. I prefer the concave to the flat. I can make it flat. That's what you have. <laughs> yeah, I love the 45, yeah. Do you like it shaped like this? Uh, Do you want it flat? Oh, oh, this has a shape. Concave. Uh, yeah, I, I like this one. Okay. Okay, so let's go with what's bronze on the gun. So all, so that's gonna be the trigger, the mount, yeah. aluminum, pink. Pink, 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 pink. Yeah, and thumb rest. Thumb rest, okay. pink. Yes. Two scope mounts, so you'll have two, two pink scope mounts. You have a pink thumb rest. Okay. Yes. 接下来 ，Brandon 还与我们分享了他的个人生活。也许有些男孩对于手枪并不是特别感兴趣，但我相信没有哪个男孩会拒绝一台大马力机油车吧。同样，在他的车库里，我们见到了他十六岁时所拥有的第一台车。Uh, back there is a, a Mustang. Oh. Uh, so it's a, it's a, my first car when I was 16, and we put a supercharger on it. So it's a, for drag racing, it's got slicks on the back. 这是他十六岁的第一台车。Centrifugal. It runs about 15 pounds of boost. It had a standard transmission, and now it has an automatic with a trans brake. So you just put, push the button, floor it, let go of the button, and goes. 现在虽然不能动了，但是你看后面这轮胎了没有？我的天哪，它真的是有所有所有的玩具啊！这边的大皮卡。拉着后面的这个如此夸张的大吹了，后面 UTV 这个吹了里面全都是他儿子的卡丁车。Yeah, they're they're mainly European. They're Italian, Italian chassis, and then the two have Honda motors on them. They're those for the five-year-olds, and then the Italian motor on the other one. But the all two-stroke, and now they do some four-stroke. But lots of targets for the matches. So. Yeah. We try to keep everything. It's all being repainted, being prepared for our match in March now. This is the next go, <laughs> playing with some knives, but doing finishes on knives to match the guns. Wow! 定制环节接近尾声，接下来的一幕可能会让您留下深刻的印象。或许是为了纪念这次的德州之行，光光特别选择了一种古老的交易方式——现金。这多少钱啊？这个九千二现金。它一共是多少钱？一万一千多。你定下来，还可以哈、啊。一万一万一千三吧。还可以，还可以。Yeah, I've never had another job, so I grew up. Wow. I, I, I grew up here. Um, I grew up here. Um, so, so um, I was five or six. My son's five now, so I remember climbing in. Uh, uh, there's a U.S.-made machine called a Fadal, um, and cleaning the Fadal. Um, it's a uh, Long time ago, <laughs> uh, but it's uh, it's 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 a starting point. This business started with one foot all, and then it's grown to to where it is today. So um, there's a lot of a lot of time, a lot of sacrifice into to growing a small business, a small family business over 30 years. Uh, but the, the you'll see the you'll see the the art form and the craft, um, and and I can't stress enough to you the process. We're unique because of a process. Um, so try. Passing that down um, um, like a tradition is very important to, to my family. But my father still works seven days a week, so he's oh, 60, right. 68 years old. Uh, so so uh, we're, we're, we still uh, work together better today, because I'm almost 40, uh, than we did when I was obviously 25. But uh, the passion is, is, is in both of us, sometimes just in different directions. In Brandon's face, we saw a young man who has all the quality. 也许从他出生的那一天，就注定了他这一辈子一定会成为一名枪将，而他用他的一生去完美演绎了这个角色。
。告别了 Brandon， 我们驱车返回达拉斯，奔赴此次德州之行的最终一站——牛仔文化的发源地——沃斯堡的牛仔小镇。